Well, shalom, friends, and welcome to House of David. Shalom. Well, I have a friend of mine with me today, Pastor Glenn Shuchak. He is a pastor of Pentecostal Church of Shadagi Community Church, and uh, he is going to be sharing with us today something that I believe God has put into his heart uh, concerning um, our ministry and what he is really seeing right now. Yes. So, uh, let's uh, move on. Um, we're going to be talking about one of the important things that are very touchy. It's given. Yes. Is that right? You know what the most sensitive part of a man's wallet is? It's actually right by his hip. It's called his wallet. Okay. And uh, I think most ladies know that as well, and most teenagers. But, you know, when we talk about giving, it's a biblical principle, and it's, it's something that we see there in the Scriptures and the Word of God. Right. You know, the Bible talks in Romans about how the Gentiles who receive spiritually from those in Jerusalem should also um, give carnally to those that are there. And so as we receive spiritually, we're also to give of what we have. Because you see, God's built the body of Christ, not just with heads, but, you know, with arms, with feet, with hands. And God's put us all in part of the, as part of the body of Christ. And part of that ministry of the body is also a ministry of giving. Mm -hmm. And I was sharing with you a few moments ago about how um, we look in the scriptures and we see this ministry of giving in, in many types of places. The Bible talks a lot about, about giving, and it's something that we're very sensitive about. But in reality, we shouldn't be, because if we understand the scriptures fully, you know, the Bible says that give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And we see that in, you know, Luke, the book Jefferson. of Luke. Yeah. yeah. And so that is, is God's desire is to bless our lives. Yes. And I think we all want to have blessings in our lives, but sometimes that, that comes with a bit of a cost. For example, salvation was paid for by Christ upon the cross. When Jesus was on his way to the cross, he took a beating for us that yes. by his stripes we might be healed. Hmm. Uh, he could have been born into a palace. Instead, he was born in a, a manger, in a stable, in a, rather in a uh, place that possibly in a feeding trough. Uh, he was not born in the most wonderful of circumstances, but you know, he was not born into a palace. He, he experienced poverty so that God could bring provision for us. And we see in the scriptures as Jesus was, Yeshua was instructing his disciples in Matthew chapter 10. He tells them, don't go in among the Gentiles, verse 5. Verse 6, he says, go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that expression, how he describes them as the lost sheep. You know, I was uh, reading in, in, in Amos as he was talking about how God has called Israel. And um, we see this in Amos chapter 3, verse 2. He says, You only have I chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I'll punish you for your sins. Do two walk together unless they've agreed to do so. And we see God's concern for Israel many times. We see him describing his relationship with Israel as he's reaching out all day long to this people. Mm -hmm. And we also see in the scriptures that there's this veil that was placed there. And I believe in these last days, God is lifting that veil. And we're seeing things happening and evangelism happening amongst many of the Jews and many organizations such as this one that, that are reaching to the Jew first and then to the Gentiles and the, the goyim, as they would be called in, in Hebrew. And we see him instructing his disciples, go to the lost sheep of Israel. God is concerned for Israel. God cares about the Jews. There are some organizations that would claim that God has forsaken them. God has never forsaken Israel. In fact, it was an answer to prophecy that Israel was voted in as a nation. A nation became a nation in a day in accordance with prophecy back in 1948. We see numerous prophecies about Israel, that this nation came into existence. And he goes on to tell them that go to the lost sheep of Israel. We see... Paul, preaching first to the Jews and then to the Gentiles. And so as God is concerned about the Israel, so also we should be concerned for Israel. And this is a ministry that is doing that. This is one of the ministries that is, as, as you've told me, it's the only Christian or Messianic Jewish ministry in Canada. Yes, we are. And so 
This I'm ministry is reaching television, the Jews. Television yes, ministry. That's correct. There's a quite a few Messianic congregations and ministries in Canada, but we are the only television ministry in Canada. And l let me l let me uh, emphasize on that uh, is um, um, it's much easier for us to reach out to people who are not willing to go out and. Uh, test the waters and see what's yeah. going on and visit uh, with our television program is because when people are at home, they could watch us privately. Home is something, you know, it's, it's within your walls and nobody can see you, nobody can know what you're doing. And if people are seekers and they really want to search and see, and if they see our program and they want to know more, they can easily accept Jesus without anybody being involved to discourage them. Yes. Much right. easier way, much easier. Uh, uh, um, it's, it's, it's a good possibility. So we pay the price for it. Television is not cheap. It's expensive, but we pay the price. And it's not about airtime. It's about cameras, it's about lights. It's about uh, facilities. It's about everything else. And it's not cheap. It's no, expensive. Sure. So, you know, um, in the sense that people may understand that uh, when you're running a church and your church is over 200 people, your budget of the church is way over $2,000, $20,000 a month. Mm -hmm. It's obvious because you have to facilitate them, right? Yes. To have 200 people to sit down somewhere, you're going to have to pay big rent or you're going to have to bigger, have a bigger building to pay. You pay the building, you pay the lights, you pay the heat, you pay, uh, and one man cannot do that. Somebody has to watch the door, somebody has to do this. Somebody. So there's an administration uh, um, um, right away kicks in, and all kind of things that are adding to this because the number is big. Well, do you know how many people we are reaching? How many? Thousands. Yes. Television, especially Vision TV, is a big network that is basically on every cable. So we're That's reaching right. every household, and with the same amount that we run in, like $20,000 a month, this amount that we need to meet every, uh, every month, we're reaching way more than 200 people, yes. or even 300 people, or even 1,000 people. Imagine 1,000 people church will run bigger budget than $20,000 a month, That's way true. bigger. But so you, do, you understand that every ministry of, uh, in the scale uh, will have to have financial obligations and budget. And I'm just presenting to you, and with Pastor Glenn, if you would understand that uh, uh, we are not here, even though you see me always uh, preaching basically by myself, behind the scenes and every, everything that we do is costly. But it is not, it's, the, the cost is good and the budget uh, is, is good because we're reaching not 200, not 500. Not a thousand people. We're reaching thousands of people with yes. the budget that we need to meet every month. But even so, we need have additional partners because at this point we are lower than we're supposed to be to meet our budget with partnership. We have some partners that are very faithful and uh, wonderful partners that are standing with us for years. And we appreciate them so very much. Yes. We're so thankful for every partner. I mean, imagine, how can we not be, because we know that people give in their lots sometimes, and they sacrificially give, and their hearts are toward what we're doing. How can we not be thankful for, for people what they do? Yes, that's right. Yeah. And this, this ministry is doing a great job in presenting things from, from the Jewish perspective and background, as you yourself uh, grew up in a Jewish home, yes. as did uh, your wife. And... God's calling the Jewish people. God's calling Israel back to himself right now. And, you know, your ministry is one, and, and it's like mine as well, where, you, uh, where I broadcast on, just on the radio, but through television, radio, people tune in who otherwise would never hear this message. Yes. And it's not just, just preaching the gospel at them, but, you know, the Bible says in Matthew 10, 7. Enriching them. Yeah. 
That's right. Matthew 10, 7, he says, go preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. And then he goes on to say, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Mm -hmm. And this is a ministry that is a, it's, it's a faith ministry. We believe oh, yes. in the power of God. Yes, and there's amen. been people who through watching the, the, the television broadcast, you know, we're watching at the right time. God gave you a word of knowledge and spoke to someone's heart and, uh, and, and, healed them right there, right in their living room. We have a lot of testimonies, actually, uh, at our hands that um, uh, with uh, uh, people receiving their healings and, and the touch of God. Uh, basically, we, we have different, we have different um, uh, ministries and we have different callings and, and yes. gifts. And uh, while well, God has blessed us with uh, one of those and we are using carefully and wisely and uh, we allowing God to be moved by His Holy Spirit. So therefore, it's not only enriching them in the Word of God, people, but also ministering to them live. And it's such a testimony. Amen. I remember talking with a pastor who said, well, he doesn't believe that God raised people from the dead today. He says, well, it's in Africa, and maybe they just mean, you know, people being woken up from sleep. Well, you know, I've personally seen God raise somebody from the dead. Yes. God can do it. We've seen many miracles happen through this ministry. And you may be listening right now, and God is speaking to your heart, and, and God is there in that room with you. And uh, I just kind of have a sense there's somebody right here. You've, you've got a lump right about here that God's healing that mm -hmm. right now. And he's a miracle working God. And whatever your need is, God can do that right now because he's able. Yeah. And he has not changed. That same Jesus who walked the earth 2,000 years ago healing the sick, Yeshua is on the right hand of God the Father and all power is given to him. And he's still doing that today. Amen. So why don't you, why don't you become a partner? Yes, I think uh, we just uh, we just uh, we've been talking about this uh, for quite a while. But in any case, why don't you become a partner and be a blessing to us as much as we are blessing to you? And you know what? If you will become a partner today, we have a special gift for you. For those who are watching us for the first time, and those who become our partners for the first time, you will receive from us. An anointing oil, as you see this on your screen right now, with special ingredients and aroma with it, made in Israel. You will receive that from us only for those who are becoming partners for the first time. So give us a call and say, well, I'd like to become a partner of this ministry. And uh, Rabbi Gennady uh, was um, offering on the scene an anointing oil for those who are becoming for the first time. And we will send it to you as fast as we can and uh, be a blessing also. And with this anointing oil, you may anoint somebody and God may heal. You never, you never know. But uh, it's not about the oil. It's about the appreciation and your heart. And God is using the heart and everything in it uh, like Moses' rod. God used Moses' rod. So when you put the heart in it, God can use that oil as well. So call us today as you see a number, our number on your screen. And if you are calling to become a partner for the first time, you will receive from us for absolutely free this a little jar, little bottle of anointing oil as you see, as you see it on your screen. And we would like to say thank you so much for doing that right now. But those who are existing partners... We don't want to pass you by as well. And we're offering to our existing partners as an extended offer today as we're watching our program, as you're going to call us and say, Rabbi Gennady is, uh, has said that um, today I can receive 50% off on every item that we have in our catalog, only for the existing partners. And... Um, so you cannot ask for oil. You only can ask for any items that we have as 50% off. But if you call on us for the first time to become our partner, you will receive this oil from us. So identify yourself while, while you're calling and tell them that you're calling for the first time or you are existing partner. And according to this, you will receive the gifts that we're offering to you right now. Amen. That's right. 
And just this last section of this passage, he says, freely you have received, freely give. And, you know, there's a lot of times we like to receive from ministries. You know, I, I love watching your broadcast and others as well, which, you know, are, mm. are, are free through the airwaves. Yeah. And as we receive from them, and we're not asking anyone to take from their tithes that belong in their church. That's not what we're asking. No. But we're asking as God has blessed you, as you freely received, freely give. And, you know, you, you know who you are. God is speaking to your heart. And I just want to encourage you, just listen to what God is telling you. You know, if you could find a better ministry than this to give to, then go ahead and give to that as well. Exactly. But, you know, this is a ministry that is reaching and touching lives for people for Jesus This Christ. is a Jewish Messianic ministry where you will learn about the roots and the gift and, 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 and the feast of the Lord. By the way, we're going to be celebrating our, uh, every feast of the Lord, and we will encourage the church to look into this very carefully and begin to do that because these are the appointed times right. that God has made yes. with his people, not just Israel, with his people through Yeshua, our Messiah. As well, I want to mention that we have our website, which is www.houseofdavidministry.org. Our website was redesigned about six months ago, and our website has become, as we wanted to, very media website. We have a lot of media on the website. Why? Is because we want to reach as many people as possible, not only in Canada, not only in our region, but all over the world, because we believe in what we're doing with the power of God to the Jew and to the Gentile alike. So what you can do, we have different opportunities. You can be, you can be with us live right now and on, on our website as we have live programs at the appointed times, you can check on the schedule and watch us live. We have every Tuesday night our live interactive Bible study where you can learn even more about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and what he requires, yes. what he says. Interactive, it means our phone line is connected live. And you can call and ask questions. But if you don't want to call, you'll be able to type us a message and say, this is what my question is, and I will answer you right there or with our friends, whoever is going to be on, my, on the scene, answer your question and even pray for you and minister to you. Isn't it a wonderful opportunity to be uh, connected like that with our ministry? Every Tuesday night at 7 p.m., interactive Bible studies. You can also log into our website and watch us on our, our, on our archive show programs that have already been uh, there. You can watch our um, uh, weekly programs. You can just surf and see. There is a lot of, we can have, we have 24 hours radio there for you. So you can worship God while you're cooking, while you're doing, while you're driving, whatever you do. You can worship God with encouraging scriptures. So our ministry is built up and God has raised up to help you and to help the Jewish people to understand who their Messiah is and to build your life, to build your life until Jesus will come. So why don't you become a partner today and help us to continue what we do because we constantly develop things as God is leading us, constantly. But we need partners like you. Remember, remember that we are reaching not 200 people, not 500, not even 1,000 people. We're reaching thousands of people people with yes. only $20,000 budget a month. That is a good amount. That is very, very uh, um, an expensive way to do this and economical. But we still need partners to reach this amount. We believe for 500 partners this year. And if people will give, we can increase. At this point, we cannot increase. We have to stay at the level. But with 500 partners, we will be able to increase our ministry Worldwide, Canada-wide, I can do more miracle meetings. I can have more television programs and expand this ministry, but it takes partners like you. Sure. At this point, we don't have this amount, and we only can barely walk under what we have. That's why we have special programming to encourage you to become our partner and to help us to stand and to expand. We are reaching. This is the only Jewish Messianic television program, Canadian-born. The only one in Canada as Jewish Messianic television ministry. Isn't it exciting? It's Isn't it exciting. Uh, 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 maybe even prophetic? Isn't it powerful that people can watch in their homes 
Jews and Gentiles alike, the richness of God's truth through our program and be ministered and be healed and delivered. Yes. I mean, God is giving us wonderful opportunity. This is why I'm encouraged to stand and to believe God and to do what I'm doing because I know what God has called me to. This is why we're doing this special programming is to open your eyes so that you may understand what we're doing and how we're doing this. With our partnership, we also, we're not just getting money for ourselves, but we're supporting ministries. We're already supporting three ministries as we speak. We're supporting the ministry that is reaching out to native people. We're supporting the ministry that just started here in Montreal, the church. We're supporting another ministry that is worldwide that reaching young people in their generations, a missionary ministry. And we are supporting right now already a ministry that is in Tel Aviv. Israeli. So we're supporting four ministries and we'd like to support more. More because our heart is to reach out with Jesus to his people. That's right. But we cannot do this on our own. We have to do this with your help. So why don't you become our partner today? And again, as we're talking about the partnership, we are going to give you a gift free of charge completely as our appreciation and thankfulness for becoming our partner. This oil, anointing oil with uh, frankincense and all other ingredients and it's made in Israel it'll come to you free of charge if you will become our partner today but if you are existing partner please don't hesitate to call us and say I was watching this program today rabbi said I'm an existing partner and I'm requesting my catalog so that I can purchase any item on that catalog 50% off 50% off Thank you so much for doing that. Here's your phone number. Call us right now. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. So, Brother Glenn, um, I don't know how much time we left to this program. Um, I haven't seen the clock yet, but maybe you have something to share yet in addition to what I said. Well, you know, we, we see that Yeshua himself, you know, who himself was Jewish, his disciples were all Jewish, um, he himself was, was the one who went out healing the sick. You know, it's not you or I that can do anything. Yes. It's Jesus. And that's what this ministry is about, is lifting up the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the, the Messiah, HaMashiach. And as, as we do so, and as, as you lift up God in your own personal life, you will find that God will bless you. And as we share about things that are of Jewish interest, the Jewish feast, for example, which, uh, uh, you know, to be frank with you, there's not a whole lot of teaching about that these days. And they're not Jewish, they're the feast of the Lord. We yes, have to change you're, you're exactly Kabbalah. right on that. <laughs> you're yeah. exactly right. We talked about that before. And the fact is that these are God's feasts that God instituted in the Bible, yes. all through the Tanakh, uh, you know, we Christians call the Old Testament. And all through there, it's there. And these, these uh, symbolize and teach very much about about the, the truths of God, you yes. know, in each of these feasts. They reveal Yeshua, Jesus. They reveal that yes. the, 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 it's a calendar, God's calendar. They reveal the power of God and what God wants to do. And by the way, what we're going to do, we're going to celebrate each feast, not just celebrate, but we're going to uh, um, um, teach and celebrate each feast of the Lord throughout the year live on our webcast, and we will try to present that as much as we can on television. Yes. So as a partners or viewers that are interested to learn, maybe you uh, don't have this opportunity right now in your church, so you will be able to learn more about the Feast of the Lord and other things that God is calling us to know through our website by being live with us or by watching our tele telecast. But in order to, for us to continue and to expand and to do this, we need partners. We need financial support to continue rolling this thing so we could continue to teach people the good things of God. Well, we're coming to the end. We have about two yes. minutes left. Let us pray and um, bless people today. Father, in the name of Yeshua, Hallelujah. Jesus, our Messiah, I give you praise and I thank you for your mercy and goodness. Amen. I thank you, Lord God, for your power, for your anointing, for your blessings over people's lives. Lord, I ask you one thing. Move upon people's lives right now. Help them, Lord God, because you, and it's only you, you are the only one who is calling them right now 
to what we are talking about. We are your mouth, but you, it's your heart, your will that is doing all these things today. And Father God, I just pray, heal everyone, heal everyone who is watching us today. Touch people's lives, bring their children back, restore their lives, bring peace into their homes, touch their lives, set them free, make things right what the devil has messed up. Father God, we just praise you and thank you for your presence and the anointing of the Holy Spirit as we speak. And we believe, my Lord, we believe you for every soul that is watching today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Well, thank you so much for watching, Pastor Glenn. Thank you for, my friend, thank you for coming. Always and you'll, a pleasure. You're not going to be the, the last time here, of course. <laughs> We're going to have more programmings. And remember, friends, without you, it would not be possible. So stand with us, uphold our hands, and help us to continue to do what we are doing as Jewish Messianic Television Program Ministry. Shalom to you. God bless you. Call us right now. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Destined trials, pain and toils When evil rises against you like a man Remember Jesus overcame the all In this life there are many troubles Destined trials, pain and toils When evil rises against you like a man Remember Jesus overcame them all Remember Jesus overcame them all He said, have faith in God, don't doubt in your heart Speak to this mountain, be removed and believe He said, have faith in God, don't doubt in your heart Speak to this mountain, be removed and believe have the victory you have the victory you have the victory you have the victory just remember you sitting with Jesus in the heavenly places today by His blood you are free and forgiven By His grace you are saved through faith By His grace you are saved through faith He said, have faith in God, don't doubt in your heart Speak to this mountain, be House of David, Jewish Messianic Ministry is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.